Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a new tool that we're introducing in Victolic Tools for Revit called Project Maintenance. Uh, one of the most popular questions we get from customers is how do I set up Victolic Tools with the right families, with the right uh, view templates and viewports uh, to hit the ground running? And this tool, Project Maintenance, is meant to answer that question because project maintenance is a tool designed to make project setup less tedious. They load specific elements from Victolic templates or from your, any template, any Revit project, uh, without loading any unnecessary objects. Uh, there's a pipe type tab in there where you can load some Victolic pipe types or any pipe types that you've saved previously. Uh, so you can click from uh, view templates, view ports, schedules, legends, title blocks, and even annotation families uh, to really get things moving quickly. So to show you that, I'm going to start a brand new Revit project from the built-in mechanical template from Revit. So we're completely empty right here. This is just a 2D view right from the mechanical template. None of the elements we need to actually spool, including pipe and fittings, are loaded right now. So we have just the basic view templates and viewports and uh, you know even the title block that we're looking for just isn't here. So to get things started, we can go right to the project maintenance button, which is going to be found under the custom tagging button. Now project maintenance used to be a tool called update parameters. So those tools that you're used to under the update parameters button are still going to be here under this first tab called parameters. But now we have a pipe types button where you can quickly load any Victolic pipe types or any pipe types that you've saved to Victolic tools. Uh, and then transfer standards is the big one. Anything that is missing from your Victolic tools settings will automatically be checked here under transfer standards. You can grab them all. It really doesn't take that long to insert all of them. Uh, there's a really important view template I want to grab under here called Vic Spooling View. And this proves to be very valuable later on in the process. But you see that the viewports that we need are going to automatically be checked. Any schedules that are in our template will automatically be checked as well as legends. And legends are a big deal. It's pretty difficult to get a legend from one project to another. The title block that we use the most often, 11 by 17, is here, as well as all of our other ones. And then any annotation families that are previously specified in custom tagging uh, are going to be checked automatically as well. Uh, you can, uh, if you don't want to pull your elements from Victolic projects, from our template, you can pull it from any Revit file or your project template. So just by clicking OK here, it's going to load the pipe type that I specified. It's going to load a whole bunch of new annotation families. You may see a couple warnings having to do with materials. And that's just standard Revit stuff as you load new families. You see that from time to time. So nothing to worry about. We'll just click through those. It's adding the IPS pipe type, you see. And here we are. We're off to the races. We can hit PI on our keyboard, which is going to start the piping command. You see IPST is already loaded. I'll draw a little something using our fittings. I'll even change elevation so it looks cool. OK, so we have these, this pipe that just came in here. Let's check it out in 3D. I'll make it look nice as well. Okay, so the pipe types work just great. Uh, at this point, we want to start spooling. To do that, in the VDC, we use a view called spooling view. So I want to make that spooling view. I'll take my 3D view, I'll duplicate it, and then I can rename it, call it spooling view. And if I just change the view template to Vic spooling view, you'll see everything show up in black and white. And there's many videos done on the spooling view. Check out the video for Create Assembly Continuous Spooling. It goes into great detail uh, with the, what I'm about to do right now. So I'm going to make a selection here. I'll go Create Assembly, Continuous Spooling. I'll start at number one. And now clicking through, I'm creating spools very fast. OK. 
Okay, over here in the uh, assembly manager, I can select all the spools I just created. I can grab my family template and just let the computer do all the work. Right now it's creating all of the spool sheets based on the title block that was brought in through project maintenance. It's using the right viewports to create the right views, uh, using the right view templates. It's also tagging some of the views using some of the uh, custom tagging code. Uh, using the annotation families that came in from project maintenance. And now that it's done, I can flip through each of these and view the work that it did. So very little setup time. You can start from a blank project or someone else's project where you have to add pipe to it and use the project maintenance tool to get started quickly. Okay, thanks for watching.